Leo can buy a certain computer for P1 dollars in state A where the sales tax is T1 percent or he can buy the same computer for P2 dollars in state B where the sales tax is T2 percent. Is the total cost of the computer greater in state A than in state B? So statement number one says that T1 is greater than T2. The sales tax in state A is greater than the sales tax in state B. So clearly if the prices were equal, it would cost more in state A. But we have no idea what the prices are given this statement. We have no idea in state B, for example, it might be five times more expensive. So even, even with slightly higher tax in state A, it would be more expensive to buy it in the state where it's five times more expensive. So this statement by itself does not give us sufficient information to answer the question. This statement by itself is insufficient. Statement number two tells us that P1 times T1 is greater than P2 times T2. And so certainly if P1 equals P2, well then it would be greater in state A. And the question is, would it be possible to construct a scenario where this is true, but the price is greater in state B? And I'm going to suggest the following. Let's say that in state, one, state A, they have a high interest rate, say 10%. And let's say that the price, price is not that expensive. It's only $3,000 in state A. In state B, they have a nice low percentage rate. Let's say this low percentage rate is 4% but they have a price that's much higher, price of $6,000. Well, now if we do 10 times 3,000, we get 30,000. If we do four times 6,000, that's 24,000. So indeed, P1 times T1 is greater than P2 times T2, but if it costs $6,000 in state B and only $3,000 in state 2, of course it's going to be more expensive. Even with less tax added on, it's still going to be more expensive in state B. So turns out that even if we know this statement here, that is still insufficient for deciding where it's more expensive. Now suppose we combine the information. Well, here, we combine the, notice that the numbers I've picked are actually consistent with both statement one and statement two. We do have the fact that T1 is bigger than T2, and we also have the fact that P1 T1 is bigger than P2 T2, but it turns out that it would still be more expensive to buy in B. Yet in other cases, again, when the price is equal or something like that, then clearly it would be more expensive in state A. So because we have no information about the price disparities, we have no way to decide about this, even with the combined information. So combined information is insufficient, and the answer is E.